Okay, so a lot of questions about the drivers. Uh, we do have a presentation on the Aviva communication drivers. I thought it would be a good idea to start with this first slide here uh, before I get into new features and improvements. Um, the first thing is to talk about maybe the three different tiers that we have. Um, I know most of you are probably familiar with the um, with the standard of the pack, right? Which is the Aviva Communication Driver Standard Pack. This is the one that includes all the supervisory drivers. Uh, as you can see here, um, Standard, Professional, Premier, uh, all of them include the supervisory drivers. Uh, so everything uh, that you see in the list right here not the telemetry drivers. Those are only included in the premier package. Um, so again, supervisor drivers included everywhere, subscribed items limit, um, unlimited in the three different tiers or the three different packages. Obviously they have different prices um, and these are add-ons. So the professional and the premier are usually add-ons. If any licensed package includes uh, communication drivers, it's most likely gonna be the standard uh, package. Um, there was also another question regarding operations control and what drivers it includes. It depends on what what operation control package. There are, I believe, three different packages in operations control, and they do include different um, uh, different drivers packages also. <clears throat> uh, again, the telemetry drivers include the DMP3. Someone also asked about the DMP3. Uh, I don't believe those um, in-touch packages or, or licensing packages include the telemetry drivers. This is going to be an add-on. Uh, so I hope that explains or answers your question. Uh, so again, this is just an overview, a high-level look at the three different functional tiers we have for Aviva communication drivers. Um, all right, so the first feature that I wanted to talk about is actually a 2023 R 2023 version um, feature, right? So it came out in the 2023 version. It's the MQTT Sparkplug Publisher, already a consumer of Sparkplug data since previous version system platform is now extended with a publisher of Sparkplug data via MQTT with a clear aim towards enterprise system and cloud services. The new publisher is easily configured, as you could see in the video demo, and requires no engineering changes on your existing application or underlying application. Uh, also, another related feature that came out in the 2023 is the MQTT publisher import export uh, feature, which is basically the ability to export and import publisher configuration to and from files. Um, it enables engineers to ingest bulk generated configuration sets, as well as, um, you know, to back up and restore the publisher configuration, as you can see here. And then another um, feature that also came out in the 2023 is the OPC UA Reverse Connect. So Aviva has made some enhancements to OI Gateway which strengthens the security posture by implementation of new security policies, as well as reverse connect, uh, which enables communication with servers behind strict firewalls and uh, server-side whitelisting of client connections. Uh, so all of these were actually, again, in the 2023 release, but I thought, you know, they're worth mentioning in our presentation. And then um, the main, I wanna say the main feature uh, in the 2023 R2, which is the latest and greatest, uh, is the OPC UA methods client. Um, so this is part of the OPC UA client driver in the OI gateway, which was always there. Um, to begin with, let's explain what's a method. A method is defined as a uh, procedure associated with an object or a behavior of said object. Uh, parameterized by a user with an OPC UA, this means that the object model exposed by an OPC UA server may contain procedures or behaviors that augment the state of the set object or its data. Um, a good example of where and when methods um, or OPC methods are a good solution uh, and they will come in handy is uh, this um, industrial 
um, uh, scenario recipe management for a, for a mixing unit, for example. Uh, let's say we're configuring a SCADA application to allow an operator to pick which products to produce and to download the associated recipe to the mixer controller. Traditionally, the transfer of the recipe from the SCADA to controller would be achieved by breaking down the recipe into individual scalar parameters and individually writing set parameters through tags to corresponding tags in the controller. Well, this process, um, few challenges. First one is um, recipe may contain quite few parameters, which means configuring and validating tens, hundreds, or even thousands of tags uh, in case your recipe is very complex. And if there are uh, many mixing units also included, then that makes it even more um, complex and can be significant undertaking um, and may also result in compute overhead in both SCADA and the controller sites. Additionally, Breaking the recipe into many tags causes a loss of coherency, a loss that may need extra application logic to mitigate. Um, if the controller is able to validate recipes, there may still be in need to configure um, and validate additional tags to pass and capture the validation results from the controller to the SCADA. Uh, so this is actually an excellent example of where OPC UI methods can help by maintaining the integrity of the recipe and by passing passing it to the controller as a single shop um, transaction, right? So you just send the whole recipe, for example, to your controller uh, using this method or this feature that returns the result of a recipe validation by the controller. Um, there are actually a few good videos, but they're, they're quite long and um, I, I can't really put them in the presentation here. So I'll, I'll post one of them at least that is on our YouTube channel. Uh, that I highly recommend that you look at if you're interested in the specific feature. Um, again, this is the main feature of uh, communication drivers or the main feature that came out for the communication drivers in the 2023 R2 release.